Okay, so today we are going to play with one of Benny's new gadgets. This is the Zoom H1N. It is a field recorder, it has stereo mics, it has a line in for microphones on the side, and then it has a line out for headphone monitoring. And then on the back, you also have quarter thread that you can put in a, a light stand, a boom arm, just about anything that has a quarter thread actually. And then if you see right here, I'm gonna take out the battery cover. You have AAA batteries. You just need two to power this bad boy on. Okay. So without further ado, let's get to the good stuff. I'm just gonna test it handheld without nothing, but oh, I almost forgot. Headphones to monitor. The other thing I didn't show you guys is that it has a little dial right there, as you can see. And that's to set your gain. That way you can up your sound or lower it. Okay, so I'm gonna monitor in real time. Right now, let's record, uh, hang on. Before I go any further, I am recording on my Tascam DR10L, but I will show you also when we start the Zoom H1, what the difference is while we're doing this test. Okay, so let's leave it, let's record this. All right, right now we just turn on the Zoom H1N and Let's see how it sounds. We're on gain seven. We're going to gain six, gain six, gain five. Ooh, no, too low. Gain six, gain seven. Gain seven's too much, so I'll stay on gain six, gain. Six. Apple Jacks, Apple Jacks, Apple Jacks. All right. That was gain six for the whole time on a Zoom H1N. Let's put on a little pop up screen, little foam cover on. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let's test on the, the breathing. You can hear the breathing. And then the the P sounds, the plosives, plosives, plosives. Man, that is bad. Let me lower to five. Plosives, plosives, plosives. That is that is bad. It can't handle the plosives and the breathing of myself. Yeah, I wouldn't take this bad boy outside in the wind without a dead cat or a foam cover. So let us put the foam cover that I have. Originally this foam cover was for the Shure, uh, I'm not familiar with the SMB7 or something like that. I got it for one of my podcast mics. It's really good actually, the material, I love it. Um, so let's put it on right now. Okay. And hopefully it gets rid of Still staying recorded on the Zoom H1N, handheld, monitoring it now with the, uh, the phone cover. Let's put it back to six, gain six. Hello. Wow. What a difference. That is cool. Okay. Um, pickleberry plosives by the pickle tree. Pickleberry, pickleberry, pickleberry plosives. Wow. And my breathing. It's it's gone. Uh, right now. It's pretty good. It sounds pretty good. I love it. Yeah. I could totally use this for another episode. I could just 
leave it without monitoring and it's pretty good all right uh let's see what the difference if there's any differences in hand holding the recorder versus putting it on uh, let's say a little tripod mount or a stand and unfortunately i don't have a hmm, maybe we could set it up with one of my boom arms but i don't know i don't have one at the moment right now unfortunately so we're just gonna leave it on the stand right now though before we get too far ahead i'm gonna tell you the settings if you're interested on the zoom h1 Okay. I have it on 80 hertz for the rumbles and the lower frequencies. I don't set it anywhere above 80 hertz unless I'm outside because then it makes your your voice a little eth, what is that word? Whiny or is it tiny or something like that? But yeah. It's on 80 hertz. The limiter is off because I'm in a controlled environment. And then the auto level is off because I am monitoring it. Right now I'm not in a run and gun situation. Yes, my audio is set to 48k on 24 bit. Okay. So let's put this bad boy on little tripod mount by Yulanzi. It's the MT33. Okay, let's put it on. How does that sound? Wow. That sounds good too. I don't know. Even my little noises don't sound annoying as well. Ooh, I saw a squirrel. It's on my window. Yes. I think I like this instead of hand holding it but i can i can see why people hand hold it as well you can use it for interviewing people uh dialogues no nope. you gotta watch out for those noises though if you have a tripod like mine with the little noises it's very sensitive so you can hear that i'm glad that happened let's see let's let's do this Yeah, it's only when you squeeze the legs, the flexible tripod, that you can hear those noises. Cool, cool, cool. Let's move on so I don't bore you too much. But I'm glad you're staying here if you're interested in audio. Let's put it on. All right, now it is on a stand. A light stand, a makeshift microphone stand. How do you like this? Oh, oh, your uh, aircraft above us. Pretty decent on the sound, actually. I'm betting if we were outside, you could probably it would be uh more prominent on the sound, and you could probably hear it a lot more. But since we are in a soundproof makeshift room, we can't hear it as much. So, let's test out the noises since I am monitoring it. Oh, you hear that? That is the wire for the mic, so you can hear that. If I move my stand, you can hear that noise as well. So you got to be very careful when especially with all devices that are very sensitive to sound i'm actually very i'm enjoying this very much let me stay quiet for a little bit so you guys can also hear the atmosphere sound of where we're at You can hear all the noises. You can hear my uh, camera. It's autofocus motor on the lens. You hear the white noise from the from the lights.
And you can hear the outside noises from outside as well. Let me back up a little. Let's see. So yeah, you gotta be, it sounds pretty good, but you gotta be at least, what is it? Um, let's say like four to six inches away from this mic in order for it to be, uh, that way it's gotta catch onto your voice and it sounds bassy and it sounds warm. It's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so that was my test, and I hope that you enjoyed sticking around with me. I know it's a, uh, it's not that exciting of a gadget, but I love sound and audio. I think is very key to doing this type of content, especially if I rather have a video that has good sound um, better than what the video quality is, I rather hear the sound because the sound to me makes the video everything that you hear. We're humans. We have ears. It's a very uh, key part of who we are. So I'm glad you stuck around again to uh, Benny's Benny's little playhouse of gadgets here. <laughs> oh, I like hearing my this is very addicting, by the way. I like hearing my voice on this thing. Um, if I would, I I would have it recording me instead. So I, I would, and next time for sure, maybe I'll have it just like this on a stand. And then I'll just talk and whatever. Here's another aircraft. I'm going to end this video. I, I'm really glad you stuck around. I will put... That is a loud aircraft. Okay, we'll wait for that to pass. Sing! Sing it to me! But yeah, I'll put all the links to where you guys can buy all this stuff that you just saw, the Zoom H1N, and, and all the accessories to go along with it, or that I used in this video. Thanks for sticking around. I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, peace. See you later! On the morning night sky. Oh. Peace.